The most frequent question we get asked by people who are not familiar with the case when they learn that we're working to prove Jeremy's innocence is, well, if he's not guilty, why was he convicted? And the answer to that is pretty straightforward. It's because all the evidence that was presented against him at his trial, uh, which, um, which was, was either wrong, misinterpreted or fabricated. And if you add to that the fact that the judge at the trial uh, had clearly decided for whatever reason uh, that Jeremy was guilty uh, and made that very clear to the jury, uh, you have all the ingredients for one of the worst and probably one of the longest running miscarriages of justice in English legal history. However, as a result of the partial disclosure of evidence since the trial, uh, we're now in a position to undermine every single aspect of the prosecution's case. And it's just appalling the whole of Jeremy's case is wrong. From the evidence we've got that Sheila was alive in the house, there was lights going on and off, curtains opening and closing, as well as the other factors that's, that Phillips mentioned. You know, the suicide note that they hid. Why would they hide that? Yeah. You know, it just makes no sense. Was that it's in like, the Bible? No, it was no. another one. It was another one. And it said, I mean, Stan Jones, we only found it a couple of years ago in the documentation. And Stan Jones said that it said, I've just killed myself. So it's like, couldn't be any clearer. But yeah, and it's it's listed on the homes of um, the police have a homes data computer system, which in which there is their sort of reference point for documents. And we've got some of those indexes and it lists on there. At least in a sad note.